Good morning. It is uh, Friday, about 7 a.m. ish. Uh, and I'm going out for the first real big Crusher in the Tusher training simulation day. I'm doing about six hours, 80 or 90 miles with uh, like around 11,000 feet of climbing. So, uh, I'm on the gravel bike. I've gotten it pretty dialed for uh, the setup I'm gonna use in the race. About a month out, three weeks out from the Crusher and I'm feeling super strong. So, I just felt like making a little training vlog, check in, document the process, uh, especially for this kind of epic ride. Right now I'm heading up Four Mile Canyon and I'll connect into Sunshine Canyon up to uh, Gold Hill and then on to Peak to Peak and then do a couple more big climbs. So it's gonna be a good day. Feeling good. My senses tell me that you're down to earth, and sometimes more. Made it up to Gold Hill, this funky little town. Uh, did a nice, pretty nice hard little effort there. Up the climb, it's about an hour long climb up here. Finishes on dirt. Whew. Well, when we find ourselves in all this set and done, then we are dust. But well, honestly, I don't give a damn if you stand in front of me. Alright, I made it on to Peak to Peak Highway, about 8,000 feet or so in elevation. It's looking a little, a little stormy ahead, a little cloudy, which is not a great sign, but I think it should be alright. Um, but yeah, so for those of you that don't know about the Crusher and the Tusher, it's this big gravel race in Utah. 70 miles with about 10,000 feet of elevation in the Tusher mountain range. Uh, so I'm kind of deep in the training right now. It's like I said, three weeks away. Uh, right now it's kind of the, the peak of the training. And then I'll taper a little bit before the race. And so once a week I'm doing these big crusher simulation rides where I'm basically mimicking the course and the course of the crusher uh, is basically two giant hour long climbs on dirt at elevation. So this ride started off obviously with that big climb up to Gold Hill, it's about an hour like half of it is dirt and then I'm riding across the Netherland right now to refuel and then I'll descend down and then hit one of the hardest climbs we have here in Colorado called Magnolia um, back up to peak to peak and then down um, up over Gross Reservoir and the backside of Flagstaff so it's gonna be a big day but I'm feeling strong right now and I just love love this process of training and I love being out here living the dream baby Kind of a freak storm blew into Netherland when I just right when I got there to the coffee shop. I tried to wait it out, but I just need to get down, descend back down into Boulder where it looks a little bit, a little bit nicer. 
but it's not terrible. It's just ah, throwing a bit of a wrench in my spoke, so to say. All right, I made it safely down the canyon, but I'm gonna continue with my plan. It's not raining too hard. I'm on Magnolia now, so see how long it lasts. Doesn't look like it's too bad of a storm. Your intuition tells you that I'm the only one. I made it back uh, up to peak to peak. <clears throat> Took the dirt from Magnolia, and I'm descending Coal Creek Canyon right now uh, towards Wonder View, and then and apparently kind of into the storm. It looks like <laughs> it sort of held up over Magnolia, but it's looking like I'm heading back into it, which oh, it's good good trainings. But um, yeah, and then I'm gonna head down into Gross Reservoir which kind of is backstat, the backside of Flagstaff Mountain. So I'm feeling really good today, which is really good, but we'll see. I still have like a thousand meters to climb, so see how I'm feeling in a little bit. Alright, back in Boulder, uh, made it to the top of Flagstaff in under five hours, which I'm really happy with. Um, I've been feeling great all day. Uh, it's over 3,000 meters of climbing and like 120k. So can't complain about that. Um, now I just have to run over to Aaron's house because I'm house sitting for him and let the dog out. But I'm gonna try and do another hour or so um, because I'm only at five hours and my goal today um, on the training plan was six hours. So I think I can do it. I'm feeling good. Get some more water, get some more food. I'll be good to go. But following day uh, I just was too tired to <laughs> film more and so yeah it was a really good ride uh, about six hours 11,000 feet of climbing almost a hundred miles and I felt great felt awesome had some stomach issues at the end and so I just need to dial in my nutrition a little bit more but it feels good to be kind of getting to those upper levels of, of training for this race which is in three weeks from today and so I'll do another one of those big um, rides and I have like a pretty big training week next week and then I kind of start to taper for the actual event. So it's it's good. It feels good to be back to kind of like training um, and I feel the strongest I've felt basically since I stopped racing on the road, which is really good and it's really exciting and I'm excited to see what I can do at the Crusher. Um, and yeah, I just also wanted to mention quickly that the, our registration for our plant-based cycling camp is open. You can go click the link in our description. It's bouldercyclingcamp.com. It's going to be awesome. The August 2nd through the 5th, we're going to be riding some of the same roads I rode in this video um, and many more amazing rides in Boulder that, that is just home to some pro tour riders, some of the most epic and most spectacular rides uh, in the U.S., if not the world. So it's going to be great. It's going to be me and my friend Ian uh, and Griff and Taylor Brower, and we're kind of hosting it, and it's just it's our first time, so we're, it's sort of a, an experiment, but it's going to be really good. We have a lot of exciting stuff in store. So just wanted to, to let you know that. But yeah, I think that's it. I'm going to go lead the Rafa ride this morning and uh, have a kind of a recovery day and then get back to training um, in a couple days. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope it inspired you 
to go do some epic shit in the mountains and ride your bike because hey, that's what it's all about. Talk to you soon. Oh, yeah.